A quick note about this podcast. Information is provided for educational purposes only and is not intended to include or constitute financial product advice. You should obtain independent advice from an Australian Financial Services licensee before making any investment decisions. Please refer to ASX's full disclaimer with respect to this podcast on the section of the ASX website titled The Ideas Exchange by ASX. Welcome to the July edition of ASX's Market Activity Podcast. My name is Graham O'Brien. The market bounced back in July after a poor few months, opening the month at 6,568 points, closing up 6% at 6,945 points. Many of the recent underperforming stocks and sectors helped the performance. But it's fair to say that the market is only cautiously optimistic. Eyes are still firmly fixed on inflation and interest rates, with consumer sentiment a key indicator of market expectations. The biggest news of the month was ANZ buying Suncorp's banking arm for $4.9 billion. After expected costs, it represents $3.21 per Suncorp share. To help pay for the purchase, ANZ announced an entitlement offer at $18.90 per share. This represents a 12.7% discount to its share price at the time. ANZ retail shareholders have until the 15th of August to decide whether or not to take up their 1 for 15 share entitlement offer at $18.90 per share. ANZ closed the month at $22.90. More specifically in July, 9 out of 11 sectors were up with some of the recently underperforming sectors having a good month. Technology sector up 16%. The Australian Real Estate Investment Trust sector up 12%. Small caps up 12%. Financials up 9%. The consumer discretionary sector up 8%. Healthcare up 8%. Telecommunications up 5%. Consumer staples up 4% and energy up 2%. Unfortunately, resources and materials underperformed the market, both down 1%. And the winners and losers for the month out of our top 300 companies. With the winners being some of our worst performers over the past few months, having a good bounce back. Zip up 158%. Megaport up 78%. Kogan up 66%. Telex Pharmaceuticals up 63% and Temple and Webster up 59%. But unfortunately, there were some losers. Javoice Global down 25%. Leo Lithium down 22%. Newix down 20%. Coronado Global Resources down 15%. And EMP Payments down 15%. And that's a wrap for July. A reminder that registrations are open for the ASX share market game, with the game itself starting on August 11. Check out the ASX website for all the details. Until our next update in September, I wish you all the best with your investments during August. Want to test market strategies? Sign up to participate in the ASX share market game and receive $50,000 in virtual cash to invest in a range of stocks and ETFs. Visit asx.com.au smg to register today.